Science people, stop scrolling and let's go through some parallel circuits with GCSE Science Boss, okay? So, a parallel circuit, alright, the components are connected in more than one loop or more than one branches as you can see here. Alright, next key point that you need to make sure you put this on your flashcard is that if you add a bulb to a parallel circuit, the other bulb is not affected in terms of its brightness. And finally, and most importantly about a parallel circuit, is that if one bulb breaks, the other one still is not affected. That, that, that next bulb is still shining. Shining bright like a diamond. That's it. Let's go. So, there are three main rules that you need to know for parallel um, circuit. First rule is that the current is shared between each branch. Next one, for potential difference, you need to know that it is the same across all the points or across all the branches. And finally, resistance is lower than the overall resistance in a parallel circuit. All right, make sure you use this to fill in your flashcards. Okay, good. Now let's see if we can apply our understanding based on the three rules, okay? So the first one says that current is shared. So the ammeter reads 0 0.2 here okay 0 0.2 amperes all right then it's asked what's the reading at point at one so at one the electron is coming around here so it's still going to be 0 0.2 however when it gets to this point assuming that both of these bulbs are identical so both of these bulbs are identical all right which means that they have the same resistance all right some of the electrons are going to go in that direction and some of the electrons are going to go into this direction and it will be done so equally. So at this point here, it's going to be 0 0.1 ampere. Okay. And at this point, it's going to be 0 0.1 amperes. Okay. Good. Then we'll all join back up at that point right here. And then that would make this point here 0 0.2 Ampere. So in other words, current is shared in a parallel circuit. Okay, good. Next point. All right, remember that potential difference is the same across all points. So across the battery here, it is 6 volts. Okay, which means that at that point, it's the same. All right, so it's going to be 6 volts. And at this point here, it's going to be 6 volt. Good. And remember that your total resistance, you don't need to know the calculation, but that's the formula. All right, one over R1 plus one over R2, okay? However, you just need to know that the resistance is gonna be less, okay? So, let's have a look at a exam style question, okay? So have a look at this question, apply the rule that you know. So let's have a look at this question, all right? We're looking at the parallel circuit, and we're gonna do a question based on this, all right? so. You have three amperes of current coming here, all right? Splits to, into two different resistors. So what is the potential difference across X? So they're saying, what would happen if I put a voltmeter across X? Now remember, this is a parallel circuit, okay? And therefore, it has to be six volts, okay? Because look, they are connected in parallel there, all right? So therefore, it is six volts, good calculate the resistance of x so we know that the formula is v is equal to i r good we know that therefore r is going to be equal to v divided by i what is v we know that v is six volts and that is divided by my current there which is two ampere and that's going to give me a resistance of three ohm okay so my answer there is three ohm. Good. What is the current going through Y? So you have three coming down here. Remember that current is shared. So if two is going at that point, that means that one ampere must be going at that point there to add up to give me my three. So my answer here has to be one ampere. Good. Next up, calculate the resistance of R. So remember that R is equal to V over I. What is my V? My V is 6 divided by my current, which is 1. Therefore, it's going to be 6 ampere. Okay, good. Too easy. All right, let's go to my next part there. So, when the temperature of resistor X increases, okay, the resistance also increases. That makes sense. What would happen to the potential difference across 
x so what would happen to my potential difference there nothing will happen to the potential difference because remember the potential difference is just the difference in energy between the electron going in and the electron coming out there so it is going to stay the same okay so it is going to stay the same all right that one should be ticked there what's going to happen to the current in x now we said that the resistance increases and when resistance increases current decreases all right good and what's going to happen to the total current in the circuit now if my resistance is increasing in one of my resistors the current has to decrease overall good all right now thank you for watching make sure that you hit the subscribe button make sure that you're telling your friends in year 11 about GCSE science boss and send them over to my channel all right please comment and let me know what about electricity that you don't understand i can do more videos on electricity or any topic in general i'm out